I thought that number one would surely be me. I thought I could be what I wanted to be. I thought I could build on life sinking sand. Without you holding my hand I can't even walk Without you holding my Hello, welcome back to Natural Music. Today we are going to be starting the song Can't Even Walk Without You Holding My Hand. We're going to do it in the key of G in the 3-4 time. Now you should have just heard the intro and part of the song on a demo here. So we're going to go over how to accomplish um, that intro in this lesson. So since we're in the key of G, it's 3-4 time, um, we start out with this little walk where we go... <laughs> And so I'll address both hands at the same time. The left hand simply is just sliding to D from the C sharp. And when you're sliding up down here, we're, we're rolling down in the right hand with an octave D. And then we're going to fill out the um, notes of a G chord, which is G and B. So you see all those? We're going to go, all right? See how we're doing that? And if you can't reach those, you can just add the G or just the B. Um, and if you can't, you can just kind of do this. Um, but if you can do all four of those notes, go ahead and do that. All right, now we're going to go one, and then we're going to do octave Ds. We're already there on the, that octave D, but we don't have to hit these notes every time, the G and the B. We're going to go two, three. So one, two, three. So the one being the ones with the G and the B in there, and then the two and three octave by itself. So one, two, three. And then we're going to go, um, while still holding down this D note, E, then G octave. So, so we're going to go. So kind of in that rhythm. Dun, 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 dun. So when we're rolling that, we're rolling this down. Or when we're sliding this up, we're rolling this down. All right? And that puts us to can E. Without you holding my hand. That's what we're playing over here. Um, all right, now after we hit that octave G, this is going to start uh, where we hit the left hand octave G down here. And then we're going to kind of add the melody note um, and make it pop out. After we just hit that octave G, we're going to hit that octave G again, but we're going to take the A sharp and slide it to B. Because that can... There's the melody note in there, so it kind of start sounding like the song. All right, and then we're just gonna hold that, so. All right, so that's like can't, and then we're gonna hit even walk and cut. And then we're gonna go, so for the, we're gonna go. All right, so this, we're actually gonna play a G7, give it kind of that uh, bluesy sound in the right hand. We're gonna play F, B, and, um, D, um, but we're going to slide this, um, this once again, the A sharp to B there. So, oh. All right. And then when we do that, when we do this uh, F, B, um, and D, and we're sliding that to the B from the A sharp, we're going to hit a G. This is actually a G over a B. So the B octave down there, we're going to go. Then we're going to go a C chord. So C, E, and G. Can, E, then N, then walk. So E on that is, oh, sorry, the B down there. And then we're going to go, we're going to hit it. Even walk. So that C we're going to hit real quick is C, E, and G. And we're going to slide this middle finger from the D sharp down to the E hit octave C. So we've got... All right, 
So it's real quick. So we're sliding the middle finger on both of those. And then we're going to hit this G with a D down here, octave D, B, D, and G, and we're gonna cut it. So, so it's real quick. We're just phrasing it with how we would sing it there if we were to sing it like that, so. Real slow. All right, now, we're going to do this octave kind of bluesy run. So, um, so, so it's D, E, G, and then we're gonna slide from the A sharp down to A to G, octaves. All right, down to G, and then we're gonna hit that G again real quick. Oh, actually, no. We're only going to hit that G once. We're going to go to go to A. All right, then we hit that A real quick. Um, all right, and then that's when you're on a D chord. So we've kind of, um, it's cut out completely. And then we're going to go a D chord. So... and then we're just going to fill out this D chord when we go to it. That's where an octave D will come down here. And then if you can put this D when we go to that A on the... When we hit that A, we're going to hit A again. But try to fill in a D and an F sharp if you can. I think I do all four of those. So real slow. All right, let's make it to that point again real slow. So, when we hit this D right here, we're going to hit an octave D down here. You can do this one. I like this low one, though. It just kind of... And then we're going to go one, two, three. So, the left hand is kind of keeping a rhythm. We're doing a bass note. One, and then two, three. Since it's three, four time, we're going to go... This D7 here sounds nice. We're going to do D, uh, F sharp, uh, A, and C. So, so, it's like a guitar strumming, like a bass line. So when we hit this octave A with the fill in the notes, we're going to go... That second one is where you hit that. And then we're going to go octave G to finish it out in the left hand. But after you hit this uh, A and we hit that D... All right, we're going to do that. We're going to go octave D to B and then uh, that A sharp to A. So down to A, so G, B, slide A sharp down to uh, A octave, these are all octaves, and then G, so, and then A back to G, I believe, so let me see, all right, yeah, so it's D octave, uh, B octave, um, a sharp, slide down to A, G, and then A back to G. And it sounds like this. And then that last G, go ahead and add the B in there if you can. You don't have to. But it kind of fills out the chord because we're hitting a G chord. And down here, we're only hitting an octave. So it just keeps it from sounding so empty. And states that it's a G chord for sure. That third note in that chord really tells you what chord it is. So... Um, let's play what we've got so far. All right. So now while we're holding this octave G out, um, from when we hit it, in that right there, who I don't slide that, but you can, I guess. Um, we're going to do this little, um, G to A minor to G um, to G 
to C over D. So what that is, and this just kind of ends the, um, the, the intro here, we're gonna go. All right, so the whole time we're holding G until we hit that C, and then you're hitting a C with a D down there, so. It's real quick. So uh, here's the G that we're using, D, G, and B, and we're going, and then up to this A minor, so you just move it all up a white note, so E, uh, A, and C, so. And then back down to that G, D, G, and B, like we started. And then we actually hit that quick, like that. So, da, da, da. all right. And then we're gonna hit this G, B, D, and G. And then that brings us to the C with the D down here. So we're holding this G octave the whole time. And then when we hit the C, we hit this D down here. And that gets us into the song. So, uh, let me see. And then when we do that, you can you don't have to, but I kind of roll this. I do this C with the uh, two in there, so octave G, C, and D, and I go, um, and then I hit a D down here, and then I go up an octave and do the same thing, octave G, C, and D. So I go. So let me see how that. Actually, the first one I just hit the uh, C with the D in there, um, so I go. You don't even have to hit that D, just hold that D down there the whole time. So just roll this octave G, C, and D, if you like. Okay, so let's play the intro nice and slow. I thought the number... Okay, um, and... Pay attention to counting out in your mind um, if, you, if you still, you know, you're not playing with the metronome or you're not playing with the track or play along with that intro track to kind of get a feel. When you hit that G before you do it, you're kind of holding out a whole measure. So that um, one, two, three. So you're holding this one, two. You're just letting this sustain out. And if it helps, you can go one. No, I don't do that. Um, just go one, two, then on three is when you go. So it's like. All right, then you're into the song. Okay, that is it for the intro lesson of Can't Even Walk in the Key of G in the 3-4 time. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you at the next lesson where we start the chord structure, the rhythm pattern of the verses of Can't Even Walk. Thank you so much for watching.